All right, so I'm getting ready to machine my center hole here. And oh yeah, if you have never used an annular cutter like that in one of these mag drills, that is an awesome, awesome thing. Uh, bigger holes, absolutely love them. Even smaller ones, I just need to kind of buy more of them, but they're kind of expensive. Anyway, I'm put the camera down here. So basically this is the hardest part of this whole deal here. So like I said, my uh, pulley adapter there centered in the chuck there. Chuck bolted to my flange plate and my actual machine flange here. Now it just slides on my chuck. It looks like I was a little off center there on my pass through hole, but it doesn't really matter since this guy right here is going to get welded to my back plate there and it is centered on or it's on the shaft the shaft is snugged up centered in the other side here so I'm really got this guy should be nice and straight here now I'm just gonna go ahead and since I polished this guy up on the back I'm just gonna go ahead and take this guy in here and uh, then take my plasma cutter, burn off the outside of this, and it should be relatively true. All right, so this is one of those times where I do look so little mild steel that, uh, or at least with TIG, that I actually had a hard time finding some filler wire. So I've got some eighth inch uh, R45 wire here. I'm just gonna get a couple tacks on this. I've got it all nicely tightened up here in the chuck, and I've got it tightened on this flange. I'm just gonna get some tacks on this plate here and I'll just go ahead and weld it out. Actually this is the first time using the Dynasty here on steel. on there since I'm only running 125 amp torch and I'm running it up to about 180 amps I'm gonna let it cool down for a few minutes and then get my second pass on there. Alright so I got phase one all finished up here now I got to build a frame for the rest of this guy but I held a straight edge back here and over here this way it's absolutely perfect back here I got maybe five ten thousand something like that once I get this all together I'll have to measure it with a dial indicator but I am thrilled that it is this precise plenty good enough for just holding stuff while I weld it Anyway, I gotta get back to work. 